Voor Millennium Doel 2 zijn we in Kenia. Terre Desom zorgt hier voor educatie van minder bevoorrechte jeugd in de sloppenwijken van Kenia. Zo krijgen die kinderen meer kans op een baan. I used to miss school before 2011 because my family was not financially stable enough to support my school fees. And also we used to go to sell groundnuts in order to get money. When we were selling groundnuts, we used to earn per day 100 to 150 shillings. Welcome to our home. This is where I live with my mother, my six sisters and my two brothers. These paints are made by, were painted by my brother, who is now in secondary school in Form 2. And this is our television. I like our television so much because it helps us to get news from everywhere, from the world. And this is a suitcase. This is where we put our, our clothes. Since 2011, I was helped by the Teredes Homes. And from there, that is when I started going to school full time because they used to help me to, even now, they help me to pay my school fees. They help us even with food and other things like school uniform and shoes. Charitism strives towards stopping child exploitation. I think one of the reasons why terrorism works in Mukuru is if you look at the informal settlements, there are a lot of vulnerabilities uh, for children and there's a lot of um, exploitation as well uh, with children. Terrorism has been contributing to the achievement of um, MDG 2, uh, specifically in ensuring, ensuring that more children are actually enrolled in, in primary education. So one, one, one specific example is that children who are out of school, for example, due to child labor or any other related aspects, are identified and supported with um, scholastic materials to actually be able to access uh, or join uh, primary education. Secondly, their parents are also supported with um, economic activities or income generating activities so they can be able to improve the family situation and other children also can gain access to primary um, education and all that is actually being done here within Ruben Center. This is my mom. This is where she normally sits when I'm here doing my homework. She always helps me do my homework. Many times she sits here when she's making her beats there. I'm interested in making the beats because I see, I see it as a fun. It, is also, it can also help you to earn your living. Okay, the situation now is improved. Before 2011, I used to miss school a lot. I used to miss a lot of classes. So I used to perform poorly. I used to become position. 20 and I used to get low marks, very low marks. But now from 2011 onwards, nowadays I perform very good. Also I'm in good positions. In our class I was the best girl. We have ensured that um, the school has enough teachers, so Tradism also supports um, in payment of salaries for some of the teachers so that the children can actually have more teachers and they, at least to have a balanced people-teacher ratio. Um, secondly, Terdezom has also improved on infrastructure, especially in terms of providing sufficient uh, number of classrooms. We see the height of Kim plus 25 centimeters, so we see 160. I am a former people of Ruben Primary School. I feel good when I'm returning the favor to the kids because I was given that ed education by the teachers. So um, I, I, as a teacher, I'm also returning what I got from the teachers to them so that they can be somebody in the society as who I am. I dream to be a journalist because I like traveling and also I like interacting with people.